YouTube has it going. Um, I've uh, been uh, looking for a laptop for the last, uh, like the last six months, trying to price them, and uh, every time I uh, just about found one, a new processor would come out, or a new feature would come out, and Windows 8 came out, and, and everything else, so uh, uh, I was getting serious last month, and uh, then I heard about the new uh, i7 uh, version 4 processors, so they just came out, so I decided as soon as I saw a reasonably priced touch screen laptop with the uh, i4 or i7 processor, I'd buy it. Well, uh, I was just kind of looking around today, and Best Buy uh, had them in stock, so I went down and bought one. Um, I'm doing this review unboxing because I looked to see, and I couldn't find one on YouTube, just maybe the manufacturers uh, just reviewing them or showing pictures of them, but not actually an unboxing. So what I'm going to do is do a quick unboxing of this uh, HP. It's a uh, HP Envoy M7 J010DX TouchSmart 17.3 inch touchscreen laptop. It's got an i7 4700MQ processor. It's a 2.4 processor with turbo boost up to 3.4 gigahertz. It's a actual in core. It's an Intel Core i7, which uh, four processors with hyperthreading. So when you look at it in your uh, performance, you'll see eight processors. And uh, I think I'll do what I need it to do. I wanted to do one that will uh, actually let me uh, watch a chat and uh, do a chat at the same time without eating up doing 100% on the processor like my previous 20 by 1080 resolution high definition it will support up to three monitors and uh, it's a touch screen so it's about the cheapest one that I found that was 1080p that was a touch screen so here we go all right let's see I did it right one put the battery in Two, plug in the charger. Three, lift up the screen. Okay, this is uh, being recorded with the uh, built-in camera. It's an HD uh, camera, so uh, this is just going to be a 10 second to 15 second video. So you can see the quality of the internal uh, cam. We're gonna hit the power button. Let's see what happens. While it's booting up, let y'all kind of see. I think it's got a lighted keyboard, built in number pad, full size. That's a, uh, I think what they call the full touch pad. So this touch pad emulates the same thing as a screen. It'll do the multi touch in the side, side parts of the, the screen of Windows 8. It says Intel in core inside. It's that NV. See, there you go. There's the time. And then we'll probably turn it back on whenever it's actually up. I don't want to bore y'all. Well, actually, I'll record it all, but then I'll, the magic of editing, I'll just magically skip. In fact, this video is going to be the first video that I edit on this thing. Okay. Reaching the language United States, English, keyboard is US. So we we'll click. Next. License terms. All right, I'm gonna do the. Hey, this is a touch screen, so let's see what happens. Type your full name. Okay, here we go. All right, we'll click next. Do a few basics. Example, living room PC. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. Password for the network. I'm gonna have to edit this out. Alright, we're still going. I'm gonna use Express Setup. Sign into your PC. Use your favorite email address as a Microsoft account to sign into Windows. We won't send you spam. Enter value valid email address. When you sign into Windows with a Microsoft account, you can download apps, get your online content synced. I don't wanna do that. I got too many email accounts as it is. Down here at the bottom, if you look, sign in without a Microsoft account. That's what I want to do. 
sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Local account. All right, created my local account. I'm gonna click finish. Finalizing my settings. Hey, it likes me. It says hi. Right, they're getting things ready. Check out the new one. Use Windows. I have no idea how to use Windows 8. I'm hoping that it's got some kind of deal to go back. After your PC is ready, swipe in from any edge. Do what? Move your mouse to any point now. I, I guess it's ready, so I'm going to swipe in. Hit enter or something. No, it's not doing anything, so I guess it's still getting ready. It would be nice for it to say, you know, okay, thank you, we're getting your PC ready. It's about time. It's going to take a few minutes, okay. There's clock. See how much a few minutes is. Ain't it pretty colors? The reason why I chose this PC is because I didn't want to get one of those ultra books because it didn't have uh, H, the DVD drive in it. So I wanted a DVD drive so that I could install things with it. So I've already seen a problem. That's stupid. Portable blocky drive, so you gotta make sure you turn it around. I like it better. Um, all my laptop supports in the back, so there's one of my complaints already. The cords, why bend it like that? Because it's just going to rip out of there. So, still taking a few minutes. There's my DVD ROM. I'm gonna install this, is what I use for editing uh, Adobe Photo. Shop in Adobe Premiere Elements 11. I read the uh, installation uh, license agreement, and uh, as long as I'm the only user, I can put two copies one on my uh, main PC and one on a laptop, as long as I do not use it at the same time. And since I'm the only one using this kind of software, I can guarantee that. So I'll be able to put this on my home computer and on my laptop. It says let's start, so there's a time. Okay, start. It's got my little name there, Charles. I want to do the my computer thing and uh, do the test. Okay, the Windows goes to that. Desktop goes to that. Computer, there it is. I'm going to right click. I'm going to right click. I want to let me right click. How do you do properties in this thing? There it is. Okay. First thing I learned, the clicks are down here. Not up there. So if I right click, then I can go to properties. Alright, we're going to do the Windows experience to current. So this computer is rated 5.9. Processor calculations is 7.9, the memory is 7.9, the graphics is 6.6, .6. gaming graphics is 6 .6. hard disk is the slowest factor, 5.9. So, okay. So, let me see. That's about it. What I'm do now is I'm going to shut, I'm going to uh, shut this down. I'm going to see how... I'm just going to hit the power button and see what happens. Hopefully it put it to sleep. Hit the button and see how long it takes it to wake up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. It's got a camera. 14 seconds. And then we'll go slide it from the side. We're going to do it here. I got to sign in. Let's see how much properties on drive C. Use 42 gig, 
free space is 862 gig total 904 gigs so out of a, a one terabyte they only use about 100 gig part of that is the recovery so let's see recovery D is 25 gig and then the windows that sees 862 so Okay guys, there's a quick unboxing. Um, I'm going to install Adobe Photo Element and stuff like that on here, but I just wanted to uh, show you my new computer. Hopefully I'll be uh, on the chat and I'll be able to uh, run a chat and also see the comments at the same time, which will be cool. Oh, I better check this. They told me it was a full... Yeah. 1920 by 1080. Full HD. I'll just show you a little bit. It's uh, downloading my uh, virus software and protection. And uh, the Wi Fi is getting about 20.5 meg down. And it's using about 6% utilization, so it's just barely running. I'm installing Steam. It's running about 2%. Parts are pretty good. I'm happy so far. Okay, during the process, you want to click on the HP thing right down there, the little icon, icon down there, and do a create recovery media, go 32 gig flash drive, and then just uh, click on create, and then it will create it and verify it. That way, if your hard disk crashes, you can always get it back to uh, just like it was when you uh, bought it brand new. Because if your hard disk crashes, you won't have uh, you won't have the uh, restore partition that's on the drive to restore it. So you need to do this. You're allowed to make one copy, and that's all HP will let you create. So now remember to do that. It will copy the image, and then it will verify it, and then you pull it out and put it in a uh, safe somewhere that's safe that you'll know where it is. Hopefully, you'll never need it. But if you uh, do need it, then if you created it, you'll have it. Cook 2. Thanks for watching, y'all.